The Washington Redskins are the most mediocre team in the NFC. How's everybody doing? It's PR and I'm back with another video. This is the second video in the series of videos about NFC East Championship Roadblocks. And I'm going to clear something up about the last video I made, the one about the New York Giants. Championship Roadblock in the near future for the New York Giants. I did not make that video because I hate the Giants. I did not make that video because I hate Eli Manning. You know, I have some level of hate for both the team and the player. But I made that video because I truly feel that one of the biggest, if not the biggest, roadblocks for the Giants in winning another Super Bowl is how they are going to deal with replacing their declining franchise quarterback, Eli Manning. Because due to past events, I have a hard time believing that it's going to go as smoothly as they think it is. Okay, I feel like every team in this division has a chance to be championship caliber next season. I wouldn't have made that video if I didn't feel like they did. I wouldn't have made that video if I felt like Daniel Jones didn't show any promise. I think that that can truly happen. So we're going to move on to the Washington Redskins. I would suggest that you watch at least five minutes or at least a quarter of the video before commenting because, you know, you might come back with an angry comment about something that I already referenced. So if you're going to comment on the video, I would suggest that you at least watch the video so that you're not wasting your time. So we're going on to the Washington Redskins. Now, the Washington Redskins, they went, what, 7-9 and nine last season? The Washington Redskins started out very well. I believe they started out 6-2. and two. And then they had a huge decline at the end of the season uh, for reasons that I'm going to discuss. Now, the Washington Redskins, if you looked at their past four seasons in the NFL, the Washington Redskins are the most mediocre team in the NFC. By far. They are the most mediocre team. And the reason being is because you, you look at their records. You look at the records of the Washington Redskins. You have 2015. They went 9-7. and seven. They went to the playoffs. They won the NFC East. The next year, they went 8-7-1. and one. The next year, they went 7-9. and nine. And then last year, they went 7-9. and nine. So 7 is the magic number for the Washington Redskins. It's very tough to probably be Washington Redskins fans and to be the Washington Redskins because they are stuck in a division where, unfortunately, they're the odd man out when it comes to relevancy. You know, they share a division with the biggest sports market in the United States, being New York. They happen to be in a division with America's team or the self-proclaimed or other people proclaiming America's team. And it's very difficult to also be in a division where two out of the four teams in the division have won Super Bowls over the past decade. And the fact of the matter is I feel like the Washington Redskins oftentimes get forgotten in this division by other people in the NFL or fans in the NFL. You know, ticket prices continue to go up uh, at FedEx Field. I know they're building a new stadium for the Redskins fans. The economy is not so good in D.C. Uh, it is a good thing that year after year, the Washington Redskins seem to have very good draft picks. They have very good drafts. 2017, 2018, 2019, Daniel Snyder, their owner, oftentimes goes out of his way to make sure that they draft good players, that they draft big-name players. They always come out of drafts with really good draft grades. And you can't say that Daniel Snyder doesn't care about the team because he cares. He wouldn't, for he wouldn't have forked up as much money for Albert Hainsworth or all those other overrated free agents from the past if he didn't care. He does care. He's just not that good of an owner. Now, that's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue for a championship roadblock when it comes to the Washington Redskins in the near future, because they do have a chance. It doesn't happen to be quarterback, even though that's been a struggle and they're trying to replace two injured quarterbacks on their roster. The biggest issue is the fact 
that the Washington Redskins are the most injury-prone team in the division. You look back over the last two seasons. You know, guys like Jonathan Allen have not been there. Uh, you have guys like Trent Williams who, you know, he hasn't been up to full health. There are many other guys. Alex Smith started out 6-2 and two last season, and he broke his leg. And then they had uh, McCoy, Colt McCoy, who came in for two games, and he got injured. And then they were forced to settle with Mark Dirty Sanchez and uh, Josh Johnson. There are many players that I can name from their team who have been injured. I heard a Washington Redskins fan come out and say, you know, 25 players started at positions for the Washington Redskins and got injured. You have 22 starters on a football team and 25 guys who actually started on the team were injured. It's ridiculous. Their biggest free agent pickup of, I wouldn't really say 2019, but he was still a big free agent pickup at the end of the 2018 season, was Reuben Foster. And I think it was the first day of veteran OTAs. He wrecked his leg. On the first day, he was carted off the field. This is a huge issue. And... Uh, Trent Williams, who was a left tackle, who was drafted by the Redskins, I think it was 2000, it's either 2009 or 2010, I forget which year uh, he was drafted in, I think it was 2010, he's basically come out and said, I want to be traded from the Washington Redskins because I don't have any confidence in their team doctors. Now, this is something that has really come up with the Philadelphia Eagles as well. The Eagles just parted ways with a few of their doctors, and the reason was because they didn't have any confidence in them. They were misdiagnosing them. Players getting misdiagnosed, players told they could come back to the field early when they weren't really weren't ready. Uh, doctors telling the coaches, you know, this is what the injury is, and they'll come back at this time, but they don't actually come back at this time. You, you can cite Jalen Mills. As one of those players, you can cite Mike Wallace as being another one of those players. So, I can definitely see where he's coming from. I've really lost a lot of respect for team doctors over the past few weeks. And that is a reason why Trent Williams wants to leave the team. And the fact of the matter is that, you know, whether he gets his wish or not, you know, that is something that the Redskins have to deal with. You are not going to be as good if you are not healthy. If you are stuck pulling people off of um, the street and you're pulling people off of your the lower parts of your in injury list and you're replacing them with uh, practice squad players and bench warmers, you're not going to be as successful. So what I'm going to say here for the Redskins, it's not as juicy as with the Giants, but the problem with the Redskins is they consistently have wounded warriors on their team. And that's not it's not it doesn't have anything to, it's not anything against like military veterans. It's the fact that the Redskins, they're named after the brave warriors of native Native American tribes. And they're wounded. They're injured. So unless they can get that situated, because the Redskins have been you know, a very injured team, a very injury-prone team, I don't see them winning a championship in the future. They need to find a way, whether it's strength and conditioning, whether the players need to be smarter, whether, you know, the organization needs to be more vigilant about who they're hiring on their training staffs and their, their medical staffs. But the bottom line right here is that I don't see any improvement with the Redskins season long, not half the season, because they've been able to play half seasons for the last few years. I don't see any improvement unless this team can stay healthy as a team. They cannot be losing key players to injuries and expect that they are going to win a championship. Again, I think that healthy... The Redskins have a legitimate shot to make a lot of noise in this league. A lot of people look down on the Washington Redskins and say, you know, they're not anything because, you know, 
based on their recent past, they've they've not been so good. They've been average. But I'll I'll tell you, the Redskins can can make a lot of noise. The Redskins can be dangerous. The Redskins can be very competitive. But the issue is, if they're down to their fourth quarterback, they're not going to be competitive against anybody. You look at the Giant, the, the the way they played the Giants last year, and the way they played the Eagles in the second game of the season, Week 17. They're not going to be competitive at all if they don't have their key players. That's all I have. Next video will be the video about the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles roadblock. Again, I would hope that you would watch part of the video before commenting. If you have something negative to say, I'm open to it. But at least watch part of the video before commenting on it. That's all I have. It's PR. Peace. I'm out. See ya.